At Ferris State, I'm an assistant professor in architecture and sustainability, part of the Bachelor's of Science in Architecture and Sustainability. I teach a range of graphics, intro, freshman graphics, drawing, traditional architectural drawing classes, to um, discuss, uh, classes where we look at things like lighting and heating and air conditioning, and then part of this Ball Town Studio, which is a new program we're starting, which will be working with local communities, and I'll be teaching one of those classes where local communities apply to this program, the Small Town Studio program, and our students will work directly with them to solve problems, either architecture or planning related problems in their community. So one of our projects, one of our research projects, we, um, we want to look at the use of daylighting in architecture. So daylighting means using natural lighting. So it's, it's more than just windows because we can put windows in a building and by adding windows you might reduce the amount of electricity used because you're not lighting as much but increase the amount of energy used in heating and cooling because now the building is getting hotter. So um, proper use of daylighting would both reduce the use of electricity through natural lighting while not increasing energy demands for heating and cooling. So we want to look at the use of daylighting, one we want to model digitally and we want to test how the computer interprets the daylighting and we want to compare that to on-site field measurements and we want to do this in two, for two ways. One, to just better understand what the computer is actually telling us and two, to compare and contrast what's the computer saying versus what's really happening in real life. And then in the end we would make recommendations for how it might be improved. So as part of this project, the student will be presenting in August um, our findings, and really we're looking at energy use and user comfort. I see the benefit to students from participating in a research program like this or working directly with the student um, at a variety of levels. It's inherent that you have an ability to continue in some sense of lifelong learning. Much of that is research, whether or not you think about it in the terms of research, writing, and publication, etc. But it is, it's just, the fact of the matter is research light. So um, programs like this, which I think will help instill a sense or an ability to continue to learn, the sense of lifelong learning for the students after they graduate, I think is incredibly important. It represents exactly the experience they're going to have, whether or not they realize that's really the experience they're going to have. If I were to give any advice to a professor, I think it's scary sometimes to think about doing research or quote unquote research or even working with students in this way. Um, but it doesn't have to be this grand change the world thing. So if there's some question or some topic you're just really interested in, um, just start from there. A really great thing about Ferris is that we have the ability to. Like we're of a certain size where we can dramatically change people's students' educations.